Hello and welcome to another episode of DoCrafts TV. Today we're going to be joined by Karen Baker who's going to show us some really clever techniques for scrapbooking whether you're brand new or more experienced. Hi Karen, welcome along today. Hi. Thanks for coming in. Um, so what are we going to get up to today? Well, I thought we'd do something um, that's currently very trendy. Lots of people like doing divided page protectors. Okay. Um, and you normally you'd buy them and they're quite expensive. Yeah, so definitely. I thought we would have a go at doing our own. And whilst we're saying it's for scrapbooking, actually it could be for anybody. So if yeah, you make definitely. ATCs, this is the perfect thing to I make. Ideal, good, good. Um, and also if you are a card maker and you want to display your projects or maybe you're a wedding stationer and Ooh. you want to keep them secure, you could also use this sort of technique for those That's as well. That's a great idea. Fantastic. Okay, right, let's get started. So what, what's first? Okay, well, you can either use your scrapbooks um, as they come. Oh, this is my little one here. Um, these are post-bound, and what it means is that you can actually remove the whole thing and undo it. And it means that you can take, which is what I've done, take the individual ones out, yep. do what you need to do with them, and then put them back in. And Brilliant. you can actually add more and more and more because the spine is actually expandable oh, of course, with yep. these. Um, so that's what I've done with these. But if you've already got the scrapbooks and you just want to have a go at doing it yourself, we've got some the, of an equivalent version. So these are the Paper Mania page protectors. And yes. They come in eight by eight and 12 by 12 sizes to fit whichever album you're using sure. um, and obviously you've got your holes down the side there that go where the posts would go and you get a nice big pack they come in uh, I think this is a 10 I think you get in here yeah it's 10 in there and this is the 25 and I think there's also a bigger pack as well that you can get so okay. um, yeah there's lots to, to get on with there so that's, uh, that's excellent so we're going to use um, some of these aren't we yeah absolutely um, now I'm going to show two ways of doing it one is for those who like to sew Okay. Or who will have a go at hand sewing, and the other is for if you just didn't want to do that okay. at all. Um, so what I'm going to start off with doing is choosing what type of grid formation. I've, you would probably want to look at the elements that you've got okay. first to display and think, well, is it going to fit into this sort of size, or do I want a big thick one and then two little ones? Okay. So just work out roughly with your photographs. So how like on this you one, you've got um, six there. You've got sort of uh, obviously you've split it in two, so yeah. six inches, and you've obviously split it into three here, so that's sort of four yeah. inches. So the six by four papers, um, six by four photographs, yeah. are perfect because they go and naturally. Just slot straight in. Yes, yeah, slot straight ah, in. Brilliant. So there's no okay. messing around with glue, adhere, you know, it literally, it's a very, very quick way of Brilliant. scrapbooking. It'd be good for sort of displaying as well in your home, wouldn't it? Because you could then yeah. swap it out as often as you wanted. Yeah, absolutely. And you've Brilliant. not got the, the problem where if you've made a scrapbook and you've got something in the scrapbook and it's stuck down. Yes. It's stuck down then, you can't move yeah. it or you can't look at it in detail. Yeah. So it kind of gets over that problem as well. Brilliant. Okay, so we've chosen our layout. Yeah, so say I wanted to do this kind of a layout. So I've just got some spare, um, I'm just using the back. Okay. So I've just marked it out with a pen and then all I would do is just slot it into there we go. So I'll put it in my page protector. And then if I was going to sew, I would just get one of the pens. These are the um, permanent pens, so they're going to work brilliantly on this surface. Okay. And then all I would do is just literally mark where the lines intersect. Okay. It will actually, once they're dry, if you rub really hard, it will actually come off afterwards. Okay. Um, so I just pop those like that. And then all I would do is remove this and you can't see very well. You've got your little marks there. Okay. So you would be able to put it into the sewing machine. Now, there were a few little tips that I found um, with experience, because um, I did it wrong. So okay. <laughs> <laughs> if you, when you start sewing, don't sew from the open end because it's so slippy. What the machine tends to do is sort of push it away from it. And you oh, end. So okay. always start from a closed end. So okay. I would start from this end or I would start from this end okay. and sew down that way. And the other thing is, um, the fabric tape is brilliant at holding it securely because obviously it's a very slippery surface. So when you're putting it through yeah. your sewing machine, um, sometimes it tends to slip a little oh, bit. So okay. on the base plate, the little metal bit that you would, not on the feed dogs that run through, yeah. but on the base plate on the bottom, I just put two little strips. Oh. I'll, I'll give you a picture that you can upload either oh. side. And all it does, it adds a little bit of grip. Brilliant. So it just helps sew the whole thing. So you'll end up when you've finished and you've sewn with something like this. 
Wow, check that out. It's okay. amazing. And that's machine sewing. You could do it by hand. You could do decorative stitching. Yeah. And um, this one here, I actually did coloured stitching as well. Oh, so you wow. could actually have stitching that matches the papers that you're using. That's so really you, can go, you can go to town with it. That's amazing. So we've got this. Obviously, our top sections are open. Yes. But obviously, the bottom sections are not. Now, you can choose at this point how you want to put them in, whether you want to put them in the top way or you want to put them in the side okay. way. All you need to do is just get your craft knife. And it's really, really easy to cut through. So you don't need to put hardly any pressure on it at all. Okay. Um, so just line my ruler up, and I'm just going to go through. Obviously, just watching that you're not going through the stitching. Stop just before the stitching. OK and then just all the way through and there oh, wow you've got your little pockets okay so it's open just pop that away so in order to do this i've just got a selection of little photographs and this is a brilliant um way of using up your tiny scraps yeah. and the small photographs that you wouldn't necessarily put on a scrapbook page because they're not they don't look good enough to just be like yeah. a, on one so you can just add them all together and all i've done is used my corner punches lovely and just added these and just trim the corners off and it just um adds a nice touch to the page so it as well. unifies everything doesn't yeah it? it does particularly because obviously these photographs are quite mismatched yeah so your pet scrapbook page comes together in a matter of seconds and there's none of this agonizing you know should i put the button here should no. i put that there no. you know it's really really simple and obviously you'd put your little elements of your dates and what's happening yeah. except, and it's perfect for memory pockets oh yeah because you definitely. can get your memory pockets in and out so that's just a very oh, very simple simple and there's something um, really appealing about a grid as well isn't there yeah. you can't really go wrong with it no not at all and actually put your photos like on a like in a triangle that's yes that's quite a good tip but the other thing it? you can do here as well is if you've got a larger photograph and you still want to display it you can actually um cut it oh, and actually slot idea. it in i mean i haven't finished this little part mm -hmm. here but it's just to show you that your bigger photographs can still go into this scheme sure. of way of working and you've got some embellishments here as well yeah and you'll see on the other um in the other scrapbook the bigger one don't be afraid to put your embellishments outside the page as well oh i see so you've got the little uh, pinwheel yeah. there on the outside and there's a little paper element yes. here as well it just depends on what you want to yeah. do but don't be afraid you know normally traditional scrapbooking would all be inside the page yeah. pocket but you can go outside too that's really effective i really like that that's excellent Wonderful. So the other um, way of doing it that doesn't require any sewing is to use craft pattern tape. All I need is a page protector. Okay. And I've literally just using my knife and a um, craft knife, uh, sorry, a ruler and a craft knife, or even I've sliced them on my guillotine as well. Oh, yes. You can do it that mm -hmm. way as well. Um, so you end up with this, which obviously has the holes, yeah. an open bit, and then another open bit, and this. So this is going to be remain closed. Okay. We need to seal this one up. So really, really simple. I'm just going to use some craft tape. And again, if I line it up with the mat and just pop it. So I want it to be just slightly beyond. Okay, try to make sure that's straight. And then I'm just going to do one on the other side. There we go. And then we would do the same with this one as well. Now, the obvious problem is this side has got holes that I can connect into the scrapbook, oh, but this one hasn't. So all I would do then is using my pen again, line up the holes mm -hmm. along. And with these, there are several holes that you could use, but the hole um, that it's gone into the album with is the middle hole. It's okay. like a longer hole. So I would just literally put a little dot there and a little dot there okay. and that's how i know that i just have to cover that with my screw punch you probably want the largest size of hole mm -hmm. so it just slots in i mean you can see the tape very very slightly oh yeah there we go just um, see that there. you can just about see the tape but you can actually add you see this one here, which is the little quarter one. Yeah. You would see the tape at the bottom. Oh, so I see. it adds a bit of um, decoration inside I've got your you. scrapbook page as well. Um, the other thing, which um, I've done another page in the big scrapbook, is use up all your um, older 
stash and use it's great for die cuts oh uh, yes um, this one yeah and if you've only got partial pieces of paper that you wouldn't be able to use in a big scrapbook it doesn't matter because no. you can just chop them up um, and slot them in and it's nice because people can take them in and out yes so you've got an interactive element with yeah it as well. that's really nice Fantastic. So as we said, well, there's all sorts you could use these for in addition, isn't there? So like you said, for wedding stationery would be really good. Yeah. Uh, for your ATCs. Your kids' artwork projects, Perfect. you know, you'd yeah. be able to put that somewhere. Or just little cards that you've received or, you know, you name it. Because the design, you haven't got to buy one from the shop that says you must have this size and this size. No. You can make it fit whatever the things that you're going to put in the page. You want to buy, if, you know, if you were to buy page protectors with divides you have maybe have to buy a pack that were all the same yeah and that's you know that's not necessarily how we want to work we want to have you know complete yeah uh, complete freedom don't we wonderful well thank you so much for that i think that's going to be a really great one to have a go at i think i very excited about that. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Um, if you've been inspired to maybe start your, to turn your hand to some scrapbooking, we'd really love to see you having a go. Uh, maybe upload your projects to docraft.com and we can pop along and have a look. Leave your comments and if you send us a link to tv at docrafts.com, we may even feature your project on an upcoming episode of Docrafts TV. Now, you can find all the instructions for Karen's project at docrafts.com also. Uh, we'll pop a list of everything she's used as well. And as she said, a little photograph of the tip she used with craft tape on her sewing machine as well. So we can get all that up there for you to take a look at. Until next time, happy crafting.